The second year of medical school is often considered to be one of the most difficult years in medical school. It is often seen as a transitional phase where medical students move from studying courses under the Faculty of Science to basic medical science courses such as anatomy, physiology, and medical biochemistry. Unlike the first year, the second year is a crucial time when medical students deepen their understanding of the human body. As a second year medical student, you will be exposed to a lot of medical terminologies you probably never knew existed. You will find yourself juggling between attending classroom lectures, tutorials, laboratory sessions, and even clinical postings. You will spend long hours in the dissection hall exploring the intricacies of the human body and learning its structural components. The second year is a crucial period in medical education that is filled with a lot of challenges and opportunities. Hello there, this is Medzone TV, home to medical school excellence. Medzone TV is an online medical community that presents you with series of web-packed activities ranging from captivating stories, top-notch medical contents, fascinating videos, quizzes, monthly challenges, and a lot more you can't afford to miss. In today's video, we'll be talking about the second year of medical school and how to successfully navigate through this challenging but exciting phase in your medical education. Please sit back, relax, and listen. If you're a current or aspiring medical student who is looking to survive the second year of medical school, then the first step you must take to achieve this feat is to understand the medical curriculum and the course subjects or courses you would be offering during this time. The second year focuses mostly on basic medical science courses such as anatomy, physiology and medical biochemistry. These courses are foundational courses that introduce medical students to the fundamental concepts and knowledge needed to understand how the human body functions. They allow medical students to understand the complex mechanisms of the human body and help them to develop critical thinking skills. Understanding these courses will lay the groundwork for a deeper comprehension of the human body and its various function. You would study the structure and function of different organs during this time and learn about the body systems and how they all work together in harmony. You would study the chemical processes that occur within the human body and the various molecules, enzymes and biochemical reactions that shape the functioning of cells and their components. Students in the College of Medicine spend the first two years of their academic program in these departments and the successful completion of these basic medical science courses will determine if a student would advance to the subsequent years of medical school. So after understanding the curriculum and the course subjects or courses you will be offering, the next step you must take is to choose the right study materials and resources you will be needing to survive the second year of medical school. The truth is, it can be quite difficult to know what textbooks and materials to get, especially if your university does not supply you with a reading list, or perhaps they supply you with one that is just too long and you don't want to waste money on textbooks you will never use. Now, there are so many medical textbooks to choose from and these books are far from cheap. This makes it difficult for medical students to know exactly which textbooks to buy and the ones they shouldn't buy. The recommended textbooks may vary from school to school, and these textbooks are especially dependent on what the lecturers in that particular school prefer. For example, for physiology alone, there are about 4 to 5 standard textbooks that you can buy and study with. We advise that you use the reading list you may be provided with by your university while choosing your study materials and resources. Also, do not hesitate to ask more senior classmates that are above you the books they would recommend. We will be producing a full-length video based on the list of widely used textbooks and resources in medical schools in Nigeria and many other countries in Africa, Asia and some English-speaking countries. The advantages of one book over the other and why you should buy a certain book and not the others in the same category as it. If you would like us to produce this video, please say so in the comments below. But in all, there are certain textbooks which are top rated for the value they offer in the specific subjects they are meant for in medical school. Moving on, so after you've taken the time to familiarize yourself with the structure and expectations of your medical school curriculum and probably choosing your study materials and resources, what's the next thing that you must do? Well, 
The next step that you must take to survive the second year of medical school is to adjust to the medical school environment. The sad truth about the first few months of the second year of medical school is that everybody is struggling to various degrees. Some are struggling with both anatomy and physiology, some with just anatomy alone, while others are struggling with all three courses. The students who figure out how to handle these courses early will adjust quite well. Those who don't are the ones more likely to experience burnout and have a difficult time surviving the second year of medical school. Learn to ask a trusted friend or classmate above you how he or she did it. If there's one thing medical students like to do, it's to tell those just below them how they did it. Just find a student you really trust and ask him or her how the second year of medical school was like for them and how they adjusted and everything in between. Once you find that select person or group of people, they will tell you what each lecturers are like and which lecturers or professors will be most helpful, what study materials or textbooks you would need the most, and what to or what not to do. You don't have to feel shy or embarrassed when you ask them these questions. The truth is, they would understand and they would answer all your questions because they were once naive just like you and someone who was just a few classes ahead of them answered their questions too. Another step that you must take to survive the second year of medical school is to establish a structured study routine as one of the biggest challenges of the second year is the rigorous academic schedule. You will find yourself juggling between attending classroom lectures, laboratory sections, tutorials and even clinical postings and the key to your success will lie in your ability to manage your time effectively. Create a study schedule that suits your learning style, allocating specific time for each subject. Consider your class schedule, extracurricular activities, and personal commitments when creating your study schedule. Pay attention to when you feel most alert and focused and schedule your study sessions during these periods to maximize your concentration as some people work best in the morning while others are more productive at night. Be realistic about how much time you need for each subject and ensure you have enough time for breaks. Stick to your study schedule as much as possible. Consistency is the key to establishing a habit and making progress. However, be flexible and adjust your routine as needed to accommodate unexpected events or changes in your schedule. If you are still watching this video at this point and probably finding it helpful, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Moving on, another step that you must take as a second year medical student to survive the second year of medical school is to develop effective study techniques and exam preparation strategies. I know you have probably heard this a lot of times, but it is useful to remember that it is quite easy to come back from a busy day of lectures and convince yourself that you would review the day's lecture the following day or in a week's time, but the reality is this might never happen. There's no denying that the second year of medical school is very challenging and you'd have to learn and understand a huge amount of information at a relatively fast pace. This is why you must create a solid study schedule that allows you to always study as the end of second year brings the much dreaded in-course or promotional exams. To successfully prepare, you have to find study methods that works for you and create a study plan that includes targeted revision, solving past questions and seeking clarification from your colleagues and lecturers. Now most second year medical students forget most of what they spend hours reading within a few days or weeks after reading it because they haven't found a unique method of studying that works best for them. Sometimes they forget everything they read just as fast as they read it. If you are watching this video and you haven't found a unique study technique that works for you or you have but you seem to forget most of the information you read, we have a video made especially for you. In this video, you will learn about various study techniques that will help you remember nearly everything you read in medical school. I will be leaving the link to the video in the description below. I recommend you watch the video after you are done watching this video. Moving on, it's crucial to state at this point the importance of striking a balance between your personal life and medical school. Always remember to make time for family, friends and hobbies to avoid burnout. Indulge yourself in school social activities. Join clubs and school organizations that interest you. Go out and meet people. Build connections and networks. Catch phone responsibly. Try and create a balance between medical school and your personal and social life as the people you know today are the connections you will have tomorrow. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions or additional tips to share, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and staying with us to the end of the video. 
If you enjoyed watching this video, then please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting content. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues as I am quite sure that there are people in your cycle that will find the information contained in this video valuable.